Hey there. Uh, I'm doing okay. I played pretty bad today, so doesn't feel too great. Uh, I played pretty bad, so don't think it was really a champion choice matter. I think um, saying that it was is like acknowledging that the draft can be better is one thing, but saying that it was a champion issue is I think that's uh, pretty bad. It's important to recognize that they played a good game, and we. I mean, I had a bad game, and beyond that, I could have played a better champion than Wukong, yeah, probably. Why Wukong and Zai? Um, yeah, Wukong wasn't the greatest pick, it's true. I was too tunnel vision on getting ahead in lane, so... Not good. Let's pry Olaf in 11.3, cool. Uh, what's wrong with an Olaf on 11.3? Uh, oh. yeah, I'm just doing alright. Ah, uh, what do I want to play? Shit, 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 shit. Let's try another Wukong game. I have this thing where if I play poorly on a champion, I, I want to keep playing him until I do better. Or, I don't know, I feel like I could have got more out of Wukong in my game. I played pretty bad, so I'm gonna try and get more out of him this game. Playing against another Zaya, so let's see what I can do. I think this proves Wukong doesn't counter Aatrox. Um, it doesn't counter him necessarily, but it is a pretty decent matchup in my experience, and uh, I think I got to show it eventually. Like, I chunked him pretty hard at level, like level 8 to 9, with little counterplay for him, and that's how the matchup should be going, but uh, I misplayed, so it didn't. How we lost to Vitality? They played better than us, and I mean, top lane, their top laner played much better than me, so it was a rough game from top side. My bot lane was really smurfing, so I feel bad for them. Ignite Camille, so that means if I can survive early game and hit level 6, she can't really dodge my all-in. That's uh, very important. Darn shield against the Camille, you don't want to lose out to her W spam poke damage. Wukong Camille is Camille favored in lane. I think it's a 5-5 matchup. After 6, I think Camille starts, or Wukong has the advantage. Uh, but before 6, I think it's definitely Camille favored. After 6, however, if I don't fall too far behind before the 6 levels, Camille can never really go on me and uh, I can easily uh, go on her. I actually really like Stride Breaker on, on, in general as an item, but maybe Helio's was right, he told me to buy Gore Drinker, but I don't know, I like Stride Breaker a lot. I feel like it gives me a lot of uh, value on a champion, because you can use it during your ult. And in general, the attack speed is really nice for Wukong. Trinity Force, I feel like, is also a really good item. Even Sunder is not bad, I guess. This game, I think I'll be looking for Triforce. They have mo mostly squishy targets. I went Stride Breaker in the uh, LCS game, because uh, or the LEC game, because I was... Um, I felt like it would be nice to get the extra, like, the slow to commit on their comp, considering they were a very peeling comp. So in this matchup, and pretty much every Camille matchup, if you can dodge the Camille E or the Camille W with a dash, you're gonna want to do that. I'm just uh, hitting the wave equally. So the trick in this matchup is, um, <clears throat> if Camille plays it the way she does, her magic damage shield... Alright, I beat the shit out of her. I lost experience for it, but I did beat the shit out of her, so there's that. So if, as long as I can continue to deny her. Normally, um, like I like doing this on Wukong simply because uh, in a normal case, even if you lose experience, you can probably deny some. If you can get good bases off, you're still in a really good spot on Wukong. I have to bonk him there and then hit him. No, he doesn't go for a hit on me. So experience is not as important as getting a a good base and stuff like this on Wukong, in my opinion. Like right now, me getting this base is going to be huge for the game. Uh, that's also where I messed up on stage. Couldn't dodge that, but that's okay. The wave's gonna crash, and I'm in a pretty good spot here. I'm gonna need to be mindful she doesn't knee onto me here. Uh, I just traded her quick there, um, to try and get her bone plating off. Generally speaking, when you're playing Wukong, bone plating is what you want to deal with. She should lose that trade pretty hard with the turret shot coming in. She's also not respecting my jungler being around, as she now realizes she can get ganked. This was potentially a kill if he cancels the Camille. Oh, he'll solo kill him, so I'm just gonna stay here for experience. But You're on the issue that you don't have TP, but with Camille you have TP and... Thingamajig. I'm trading here hard here because I still have Conqueror up, so... I'm obviously gonna beat the shit out of her. That's why I'm still committing to this trade even now. Why? I have Conqueror. Fully. I have one creep off six. <clears throat> Focused creeps there, hit six. Uh, if Kha'Zix just fights him for me, I can join and kill him after. Blunt. 
I don't want to push this. Well, that was some of the action I was hoping for tonight, but uh, unfortunately, didn't quite work out. It's a little bit of a uh, an old one, but it's a good one, sitting in the bush. Uh, she has no flash here, so I'm just going to ult, and there's a good chance I'll just solo kill her here. Why? Well, um, she has no flash, and my champion does a lot of damage, so you can look for solo kills like that with Wukong. Uh, one thing to note is when you cast your ultimate as Wukong, hitting creeps counts as damage instances for your Q cooldown to go down, so... Ulting people in a creep wave, especially if you leave your W clone, for example, um, behind, allows you to get more uh, kill pressure with your ult. I did not do great today, but thank you. What is the advantage of Wukong versus Aatrox? I mean, generally speaking, when Wukong can lane, such as this matchup, um, and Wukong uh, can pressure and plays well, he's going to be a very powerful pick. Um, he's a very snowball champion that can take over the game quite easily once he gets ahead, and that's what you're looking forward to as Wukong, but unfortunately, I misplayed my laning phase a little bit. And uh, on top of that, so I had to use my TP to like fix the situation. And then on top of that, uh, we died in the river, which meant that uh, I was unable to uh, get the most out of my um, out of my TP back, right? Because if you TP back and then someone gets to push out the wave and base for free, it's generally speaking really bad. Uh, and that's what happened because um, we had some unfortunate uh, fight in the mid lane or in the river, so that was pretty bad. Let's see if Kazakh can solo kill. I'd be seriously surprised if he gets this kill, but maybe if he cancels the. Oh wait, he has to he has to jump that now. Wait, not jumping that? He almost still one shot her. That's crazy. But yeah, I played pretty poorly. Um, I don't think I played the, the matchup well at all. And whilst I can agree that you might not think Wukong was the best pick there, um, I don't think it's fair to say that Wukong is... Uh, Wukong wasn't the reason we lost. It's just I could have picked a better champion and I failed to find or to select a better champion. And then after that, the execution was also pretty pretty miserable. Or her passive, sorry. Back on cooldown. Just gonna make sure... Holy shit, that Kha'Zix damage is nasty. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh, pick up another kill here. As you can see, Wukong, when you get fed. Quite, quite strong. Even when you don't get fed, yeah, he can do some nasty stuff. Uh, not in this particular instance. I would like my base before I TP, but uh, as soon as it's done, I'm going to be channeling my teleport. Rakan has no ease, so there's no real escape for the enemy team here. Grabbing Ninja Tabai, they're mostly AD on the enemy team. I wanted to kill both, but uh, would I pick Wukong again? No, I don't think I would. I don't think he was the reason we lost, but he certainly wasn't the reason why uh, the game was going well either. <coughs> I wanted to W there and see if I could E him after the... Just want to make sure we get this. Uh, right now, Wukong uh, works a bit like Graves, where... Oh, I don't want to hit that. Uh, that's so... That was a bit far for me to reach, but maybe. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I got stunned still. I'm alive. <clears throat> I can still win this fight. Just waiting on my spells. I was waiting on my Gore Drinker, but I probably should have just committed. I was a bit of a pussy there. If I just went in and ulted, I think I could have saved uh, Victor's life. But uh, let's uh, let's process. Let's cancel once. Have a look on the map. If no one defends this bot dive or no one shows bot in uh, in a bit, it probably means that they're looking to kill me top. Cancel there, but maybe it wasn't enough. I don't think it would be. I can wall for one here. Never mind. I can kill her. Oh, I think our mentality is totally fine. We had a we had a team meeting. We talked about it. I'll just clear this pink. And if this guy doesn't run top, I'll go kill him. Oh, he's not running, so it's a good chance I'll kill him. Probably should have W towards this tower, not away from it. I'm coming. Got one tap. This could be a little bit hairy. Gore Drinker in three. I could have turned that with Gore Drinker for sure. Mostly physical and true damage. Ah, she uh, she saved her ignite for me. It was Rakan that ignited the uh, Kaisa. Unfortunate. There was no anti healing. Maybe I could have beat them anyway. I think uh, in this meta we don't feel like blinding top lane is like blinding mid lane is 
like I mean I probably shouldn't talk about it too, too much but uh Yamato likes the fact that I have a, a lot of counter or a lot of champions he likes giving me five picks so that's something he decides not me I'm fine with it I mean I like having a last pick why not GP um felt like against Seraphine GP would not get too much value she can usually just W and kind of ignore the fact that my gangplank ult is doing anything and you know against enchanters in general I don't think kegs are reliable enough I could be wrong there but uh that's just how I feel when I play. I feel like GP into Seraphine is not great, but maybe it's uh, maybe the fact that I can disrupt Zaya and whatnot a bit better or much better is uh, more important. With our comp as well, I felt like we were mostly a dive comp slash side lane comp. So picking a champ like Wukong that can win side lane quite hard is, in my opinion, not a bad idea. Uh, we should really run here, but I'll bonk her head, see what's up. Right now, if Camille ease onto me, I'll ult it like so. Ah, uh, my team is all dying, kind of trolling. I don't know why we're doing this with AD in mid. They're just running it down. What's the team's approach? Of course we're tryharding for spring, what? <laughs> what kind of question is that? It's competition, you don't get to not try, you know? What that would even entail, but yeah. We are trying our best to win. That is what we're doing. He looks really strong when he's good, and he's alright when he's not. Or, or he looks pretty weak when he's not, so... Oh wait, I W'd. I wanted to rank it up. I'll just DP here. These guys are clearly overextending. So let's just kill them. <clears throat> mm, couldn't quite finish him off. I fully stack Conqueror though, so... Close. Almost killed him. Zaya can't kill me. She has no damage. I just wanted to get some poke damage there. I wasn't really interested in an all-in fight, but here we are. It's a full stun, but that's alright. Looks like Kha'Zix found this pick, so he's just gonna go ballistic on the enemy backline. Almost. Close. Hmm. What makes you think we underestimated our opponents? Just because it looks like we did doesn't mean we did, does it? What makes us win versus good teams like G2 and Worlds but struggle in LEC? Are we struggling? We lost one game, guys. <laughs> Why so toxic on comp? Um, I don't believe being honest is the same as toxicity. But, um, yeah, I mean, being harsh and being toxic are two different things, I believe. Uh, I can be toxic and harsh, uh, but I can be harsh without being toxic, and I believe that's what I was. Don't you hate how PC culture suggests you're being toxic just because you're trying to be honest and make improvements to you, to your team? Um... I mean, all things considered, um... First of all, thanks for the donation. All things considered, I don't think people are, think I'm toxic necessarily. It's just a word people throw around. It has lost its meaning, um, in a lot of cases. But, uh, all things considered, I think, um, it's alright.